In this video, I want to go over some exponential and log equations. Okay, so let's start with the exponential equation. Say the question is say like this. Say 9 raised to x. 9 raised to x is equal to 3 raised to uh, say x plus 4. So here, this is 9 raised to x, and this is 3 raised to x. Well, I know 3 squared, I'll write it here. So what is that I know? I know 3 squared is equal to 9. So in place of 9, I can write 3 squared. So I'm going to write this as 3 squared raised to x is equal to 3 raised to x plus 4. Well, this becomes 3 raised to x, or you got power of power, so you have to multiply the power. So 3 raised to 2x is equal to 3 raised to x plus 4. Okay, so what are we doing now? So yeah, you can say, well, this is 3 raised to, this is 3 raised to 2x, and this is 3 raised to x. So the basis for the uh, left hand sides are equal so well I can say then this should be equal to this okay so well I can say now then 2x plus 2x is equal to x plus 4 so taking away x from both sides I can say 2x take away x is equal to x plus 4 take away 4 take away x sorry so this plus x and minus x gets cancelled so x is equal to 4 so does it make sense so what is what are we saying yeah what are we saying is 9 raised to 4 is same as 3 raised to 8 this is basically what the equation is because how did I get 8 I put 4 in place of x so let me show you this on a calculator Yeah, so this is my calculator. Hopefully it will work now. Okay, so yeah, I'll go to run. So 9 raised to 4 is equal to 6, 5, 6, 1. And 3 raised to 8 is also 6, 5, 6, 1. So you, you can check your answer. Okay, so let's do one more question, similar. You can pause this video and try to do it yourself if you can. Okay, so the second question is 8, 8 raised to x is equal to 4 raised to 2x minus 5. So, well, you got 8 and 4, so can we write both 8 and 4 in terms of x? in terms of a number. Well, you should know 2 cubed 2 to the power 3 is 8 and 2 squared is 4. So in place of 8 I can replace it by 2 cubed and in place of 4 I can replace it by 2 squared. So let me change color. So this becomes 2 cubed raised to x is equal to 2 squared raised to 2x minus 5. So this becomes 2 raised to 3x is equal to 2 raised to, you got power of power, so you have to multiply 2 to 2x, so that is 4x, and then you have to also multiply 2 to this negative 5, which is negative 10. So again the same situation, 2 raised to something, 2 raised to 3x is equal to 2 raised to so basically you can cancel this two. Okay, so the bases are same, so you can compare the indices. So well I can say 3x is equal to 4x minus 10. Okay, now taking away 4x from both sides. So this and this gets cancelled. So that's negative x is equal to negative 10. So x is equal to 10. 
So what's the question? The question is, so let's substitute this in this equation. So what will happen? This means 8 raised to 10 is same as 4 raised to 2 times 10 is 20 minus 5 is 15. 8 raised to 10 is same as 4 raised to 15. So let's check that again on my calculator. So 8, we use this caret key or this arrow key raised to 10 is a huge number. And then if you go 4 raised to 15 should give you the same answer. So that's how you can confirm your answer. Okay, so let's move on to some more questions. Okay, so let me move it like this. Let's move it up like this. Okay, now this is slightly difficult now. So what will happen if you have a question like this? 2 raised to, say 2x plus 3 is equal to 10. Now, 2, sorry, 10 cannot be written as 2, neatly as 2 raised to something. It is 2 raised to something, but you, it is not possible to neatly write 2, sorry, 10 as 2 raised to something. So when you have an expression like this and you want to find the value of x, you have to take log of both sides. So taking log on both sides, so this is log of 2 raised to 2x plus 3. Let's put this in the bracket, is equal to log of 10. Now you apply the log rule. The log rule is like this. Log of x raised to n is n log x. So applying that rule, I can say this becomes from this, you can write this next step like this, 2x plus 3 log 2 is equal to log 10. So I want to cancel this log 2, so what can I do? Well, I'm going to divide by log 2, because log 2 is multiplying to 2x plus 3. So if you're dividing by log 2 on this side, you have to divide by log 2 on this side. So now I can say, well, this becomes 2x plus 3 is equal to let me write log 10 divided by log 2 just like that and now so let me scroll it up slightly so this is taking away 3 from both sides so this is 2x is equal to log 10 divided by log 3 take away 3 and now dividing this whole thing by 2, I can say I'll do the working here. So x is, let me write this in the bracket. So log 10 divided by log, this is 2, log 2, sorry, not log 3. Log 10 divided by log 2, take away 3, divided by 2. So what I've done is basically I've divided both sides by 2. If you divide this side by 2, you could also divide this side by 2. And this 2 and 2 gets cancelled, and this is the answer. So let's write, let's make sense of this answer. So what are we saying? We are saying, let's put this in the bracket. You can go log 10, like this, my, divided by log 2, take away 3, because calculator understands bit mass, and then you have to divide by 2, the whole thing by 2. That is 0 0.1609 to be accepted. You, to, get, to check your answer, you need to uh, put this complete number. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this as a letter like this. If you press this arrow key, and I'm going to save that as a letter alpha A. So my calculator will remember if I now press alpha A, if I press alpha A, it will give me that number. So this is, now let me minimize this. So what we are saying is x is equal to 0 
one six nine dot 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 that I have saved as A. Now to check your answer, your answer should be two raised to two A plus three because X has been replaced by letter A should be equal to ten. That's how you can check whether your answer is right or wrong. Okay, so again get your calculator out and I've saved it so you can go to raise to bracket to alpha a plus 3 equals 10 boom your answer is right okay now if you want to practice I'm going to put one one question I want you to practice it yourself so what would you do if it is 4 raised to x that is not a difficult question so let me make it slightly difficult 2 times 1 plus 0 0.07 raised to x is equal to 15 so I'll do the first step the first step is of course you have to cancel this 2 so I'm going to divide this whole side by 2 so I can divide this side by 2 so this has become 1 plus 0 0.07 raised to x is equal to 7.5 try to do the next steps yourself this is a practice you can pause this video listen to this video to see how I got this and try to work out the remaining okay so let me do some log equations what will happen if you have an equation like this log base 9 of x is equal to half. Now to write this, this is a log form. To write this, you can write this in the exponent form like this. So this writing in the exponent form means 9 raised to half is equal to x. So well, 9 raised to half is basically square root of 9, which is 3. So x should be log 3 sorry x should be 3 so how does it make sense so what I was saying log base 9 of 3 is half so we are asking the question 9 raised to half what is 9 raised to half or to check this on a calculator there is again one more rule the rule is like this log base b of a is log a divided by log b this is a very neat rule which can help you in many of the problems so now to check whether to check this on a calculator you have to just go log 3 divided by log 9 so let's get our calculator out log log 3 divided by log 9 so x was 3 let me see the question log 3 divided by log 9 should be half log 3 divided by log 9 will give you half which is half you can also use natural log okay this is also natural log of 3 divided by natural log of 9 it also give you the same answer okay one more question on log what would happen now this is a very easy question if you know this rule log base 2 of 16 is x so well applying this rule this means you have to just go log 16 divided by log 2 but to understand this algebraically this means the question is 2 raised to x is 16 now if you put this on a calculator you can you'll find the answer is 4 and now to do this algebraically you can say well 2 raised to x 16 is 2 raised to 4 so x should be 4 so let me show you both ways so to do this directly on a calculator you just go log 16 divided by log 2 which will give you 4 and to do it algebraically from the log form you write in the exponent form 
and from this exponent form you can write 16 as 2 to the power 4. So again you can see the bases are same so you can compare the indices. So let's do so 2 raised to 4 I hope you know is 16 that's one way of checking and if you want to do it directly log 16 divided by log 2 will give you 4 or if, even if you go natural log of 16 divided by natural log of 2 will give you 4 okay so hopefully these this video on exponent and log equations is helpful